Good morning, Sunrisers. I'm Dr. Emerson. This is Dr. Dettinger, and this is Mary Parker. And on the table right here is Skipper. Skipper is about an eight-year-old uh, dog that presented with basically some, some teeth issues. And what I wanted to point out really quick is Skipper is under anesthesia because in order for us to clean dogs' teeth, they do have to go under anesthesia. But as you can see, Skipper's hooked up to uh, monitoring equipment. We're looking at his heart, his respiratory rate, everything at all times right there and we also have a catheter in so if we have any issues during anesthesia we have uh, access to the vein immediately and then with their tube just like if you and I were having a surgical procedure so we don't have to worry about them uh, aspirating or having any issues during anesthesia we're controlling it but what we want to point out is Skipper's really really bad teeth Dr. Gettinger saw Skipper uh, a few weeks ago. Dr. Gettinger, you want to tell them what, what, what occurred? So Skipper came about a week, week and a half ago, basically for just not wanting to eat or only want to eat on one side of his mouth. Um, so we did a full exam and as you can see here, he's definitely got some tartar buildup on his teeth. As you can see, I'm scaling it off. Um, and one of the things that this can produce is, as you can see here, um, it can, especially with dogs that has really, really bad tartar, it can make the gums really red as what you see here and sometimes can push the gums away from the teeth showing root exposure. The other thing that we are worrying about and we have it uh, and one thing that we are concerned with Skipper is at that if he's got a tooth root abscess. So that basically would mean an infection setting in at the root of the tooth causing so much pain that he's not wanting to eat. And so we're actually going to uh, scale what we call scaling their teeth which is just basically taking all the tartar off, um, polishing them up and then taking a look at that tooth and possibly pulling it to get the, uh, the bacteria and all the abscess fluid out. Because we all know uh, dental disease is one of the leading causes of heart disease, but the main reason they came in is because Skipper stopped eating. He was not eating his food. So they came in and one of the first things we did is we examined his teeth and we found out he does need a dental and there is a huge possibility that he has an abscess. So we may even have to extract some of Skipper's teeth. But if you have a dog at home and you notice they're starting to have really bad breath or maybe they're dropping some of their food or not eating like they used to, bring them in. Let us do that initial exam. Let us look at the teeth and see if they need a dental prophy. Dental prophies are very, very safe. We do them all the time. We even do them in dogs as old as 14 years of age. So if you have a dog that's having issues, don't hesitate. Call and make that appointment. Let us meet you. Let us meet your dog, and we can get you on the right path. If you have any questions, call us. I hope you have a great week, and thank you. WCBI Animal Health with Dr. Emerson was brought to you by Emerson Animal Hospital in West Point.